Ever had a lucid dream? One in which you are aware you're dreaming? Scientists have recently achieved real-time communication with people in lucid dreams. Could this lead to a breakthrough in the mysteries of sleep and to therapy for those who suffer from constant nightmares? Lucid dreaming has been studied for many years, yet it remains something of a mystery, with a variety of theories resulting from this research. Some of this mystery is due to the fact that lucid dreaming is not all that common. Those who have experienced lucid dreaming say it feels as if they're awake inside their dream. In other words, they are consciously aware that they're dreaming while remaining asleep. In addition, the dreamer may also have some amount of control over the dream narrative, characters, and environment. Lucid dreams can be induced in two different ways. In a dream-induced lucid dream, something in a dream triggers the person to realize they are dreaming. In a wake-induced lucid dream, the dreamer transitions from wakefulness to dreaming with no loss of awareness. Previous studies have demonstrated a dreamer's ability to communicate to the waking world. In 1968, Celia Green concluded that lucid dreams were a distinct category of experience from regular dreams, and that they were associated with rapid eye movement or REM sleep. In REM sleep, the body is completely paralyzed, except for eye movement. Taking advantage of this, Scientists working with an experienced lucid dreamer in 1975 succeeded in recording a predefined set of eye movements from within a lucid dream. Recent experiments, published in February 2021 in the journal Current Biology, took this further and involved 36 people located in the United States, Germany, France, and the Netherlands. The study comprised both experienced lucid dreamers and others who were not as familiar with this type of dream, as well as one individual with narcolepsy. Researchers verified that participants were in REM sleep by measuring brainwave activity and eye movements with specially placed electrodes. Some participants even confirmed they were in a dream by signaling a prearranged and specific left to right pattern with their eyes. Eye signals and facial contortions were further used as a means of communication. Researchers would ask their questions verbally, speaking directly to the participants. Researchers asked one participant to subtract six from eight while in a lucid dream. The subject correctly responded with two, using two eye movements from left to right. Asked to verify, he repeated the correct answer. About 18% of the trials yielded similarly accurate and clear responses. 17% responded with indecipherable answers, while another 3% also responded but were incorrect. 60% did not respond at all. Many of the participants could actually recall these interactions after they woke up. One participant heard the questions transposed over their dream and thought God was talking to them. Some individuals remembered different questions and answers after they woke up than the ones they received, suggesting that dreams fade quickly as we move into our waking, conscious state. This study paves the way to gain real-time information about dreaming. We may even be able to modify dreams as they are occurring. There may now be the possibility of one day using dream therapy to calm people who are experiencing lucid nightmares. Another exciting possibility, this research could enhance creative exploration and application. Many people receive profound artistic and creative inspiration from dreams, yet a dream's ephemeral nature makes for an unreliable creative process. Pairing a lucid dreamer with an awake partner, it could be possible to combine the logic of wakefulness with the creative advantages of dreaming, producing a powerful and unique output. Scientists hope this study will foster and encourage further research into the mysterious cognitive processes of sleep and lucid dreaming. If you have an Android phone, check the links below for an app that will help you to try lucid dreaming. Like, follow, subscribe, and catch us next time to see how you, plus science, can help save the world.